Being an ally is a lot about just being someone that people can trust. I really believe strongly in just being there for people. Whether it's something you agree with or you don't, it's just, it's respecting individuals, being a support system for everybody. To me, allyship means accepting people exactly as they are and standing up for them as you would like, as you would with yourself. Allyship to me means supporting our people for who they are and providing them an opportunity to be their true selves in our offices. Uh, I think I can provide that opportunity here in Texas. I think we've created a very welcoming environment and I hope to continue to do that and support our folks. So my pronouns are actually she, her, and I think that's important because it's that beginning of creating a space of belonging for individuals who um, may not feel safe in an environment where pronouns are not shared. Saying your pronouns is something that's so easy to do to help somebody else feel safe, and you don't really understand who that's going to affect or impact until maybe after the fact. And it's, it's just such an easy way to be inclusive with everybody. I think the biggest aha moment was, for me was when I really considered growing up in my childhood and, and who I, I spent a lot of time with. I had four really close friends um, in the small town in western Nebraska where I grew up and it didn't really dawn on me until we got into college that you know three of those guys were a member of the community and, and were really close friends. I'd consider them almost brothers and I don't know that I did a good enough job of supporting them at that time and, and really um, wanted to make sure that moving into my career and moving into the, the position I was moving into, that I was able to provide a, a more welcoming environment and a better opportunity for folks uh, to be the, themselves because I don't think my friends had that opportunity growing up. So I think the benefits of using inclusive language in the workplace is that everybody um, feels that they're being treated equally and they feel that they're being seen and that they're valuable and they're wholeheartedly part of this organization. I want to make sure that everyone feels welcome and to me the best way to do that is to use inclusive language across the board. It's not just for people who have different identifications or different backgrounds, but I feel like it gives us all a place where we can feel safe and respected. You know, anytime that I have an opportunity to have a conversation with somebody who just doesn't really understand the situation, you know, and says something kind of inappropriate, I'll take the opportunity to explain, well, these are the reasons why this is this and this, so that they kind of understand a little bit more about the, the conversation, instead of just coming from a place of ignorance. I am typically the person who would try to have that crucial conversation, if you will. I don't mind um, having those conversations, they're not fun, but to me that's an important ally role and I'm a loud person, I'm willing to talk to just about anybody, so if that's something that I can do to help, that's usually how I interact. Um, first with humor and then with a call to the side to have a conversation. Number one though, I really want to create a welcoming environment and so making people feel comfortable is the way we try to start with that.